Yeah, welcome back to the channel. And today, I want to try how to speak uh, clearly. I want to try to speak more clearly. Yeah, I know. Uh, I actually analyze my speech, English speech, and uh, I found one major problem. The problem is that I usually, when I present some concept, they I am very familiar with or something they I already know a lot then I will tend to you know uh, speak too quickly and it's not just to speak too quickly because if a native speaker they speak very quickly I think you should be able to understand even you, you are L2 uh, learners of English that's because you are familiar with their conject contraction connected speech patents but you're not familiar with mine unless unless you listen to me speaking every every day or there are more people speak like me on the media on the tv on the movies so that you will be more familiar with but unfortunately that's probably not gonna happen so the only way that i can adapt that is I need to change my speech behavior, change my speech pattern, which is, first of all, is to, an uh, easier way, the low hanging fruit is to slow it down. Just don't speak that fast. But the problem is, is you cannot always speak so slowly like I'm doing now. Sometimes you need to speak fast. So how to speak fast and uh, speak clearly? That's the critical issue I want to work on. I don't really necessarily want to speak with perfect accent, perfect pronunciation. I just want to speak clearly uh, with uh, speed. Speak, speak clearly a certain speed, a certain pace. Yeah. So let's just practice something, right? Let's pick a topic. You may also try this practice. And actually, I found a lot of, uh, my native tongue is uh, Chinese. I found a lot of Chinese speakers have the similar problems as I have. Yeah, which is, we usually skip certain uh, sounds. It's not like a contraction. It's, sometimes we can check certain sounds. Sometimes we just skip that, skip them, yeah. Native speakers also do a lot of contract, uh, contractions, uh, skipping certain sounds or unstressed certain sounds. But just uh, the way they do, they people f are very familiar. And the way uh, Chinese speakers do that, they can, this kind of pattern usually are not... Uh, people just are not familiar with this pattern. So the, better, the, be the quickest way to adapt is just I, I need to change my speech pattern. So if you are a Chinese uh, native speaker, you probably will be interested. Yeah. So let's start. Let's start. Let's pick a topic. Let's pick a topic. So the topic I want to talk about today is not taking risk is actually the biggest risk. So why so okay i am i'm going to start the, the training mode uh, which is to speak a little bit fast so not taking not taking not taking um so like the goal is just to speak clearly not taking okay start start let's begin uh so if you don't really take risk you probably feel you will not fail you will not make mistake but not making any mistakes is actually the biggest mistake that you can possibly make, right? Why? Because you will not improve. You Normally, you will learn a lot of things from your mistakes. If you don't make any mistakes, yes, you will not feel uh, frustrated. You will not feel sad. But uh, meanwhile, you will not improve yourself. That's not good. That's not good. That's why you should uh, take risks. Take some risk. Uh, for example, for example, it's to make a lot of English speaking videos and post it online, make it public. Yes, as a uh, as a non native speaker, as a non native speaker, you will probably get some criticized. Some people 
probably will criticize for your accent, for the way you speak. But so what? Let the people to criticize you, and getting that those criticize you, you, you don't treat just to throw them away. You some some of them maybe is like they speak in certain uh, level of true. Look at those comments and try to improve. Try to improve, or sometimes they are uh, not very new, new uh, informative. They just uh, ignore them. But anyway, my my good, my my point is, if you want to practice your English speaking, making videos is a good idea, and post it online. Let the people to review and talk about a topic that you are interested. In. And the YouTube is a very very good channel to do that. And maybe you can do that on some other social media, for example. Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want, whatever you are comfortable with. But anyway, just that's the risk that you should take. Don't be afraid. I know a lot of people are afraid of like being criticized, uh, being judged for their accent, the way they speak. But that's not a problem. Just try to overcome that kind of fear. They can be pretty scary to be criticized, but not taking any risks. Well, you actually lose a lot. You cannot improve your English speaking, right? If you, especially if you are not living in an English speaking country, you don't have that much opportunities to really talk. Practice in talking to yourself is another thing. Talking to the other people is different level. So that's the thing they will encourage you to do. Okay, all right. That's uh, practice, and. I do not really speak that fast. I do not really speak to my full in my full speed. My full speed is uh, faster, uh, and also the topic I'm not really familiar with. I just uh, come up with the idea. So there's also another reason I cannot. I, I I was not able to speak that fast. But anyway, it's just at least I try to make it clear. This vi- whole video, the purpose is to practice the clear speech. Right, that's important. That's important. If you want to be understood, then speaking clearly is important. That's the key, and that's the all also the takeaway for today. Take some risks and try to practice. Uh, practice something as for your weakness. There are so many things that you can work on, but pick pick one, pick one, just one, and continue practice that. For me, it's clar- clarity, clarity. Try to speak clear,、uh, speak clearly. So anyway, that's all I want to share with you today. If you find these kind of videos interesting, useful for you,、uh, don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, have a nice day, and I will see you next time.